Guys, we just finished the podcast with Jacqueline Glenn and Social Repose. Oh my God. Fucking relationship goals. <laughs> so many feathers, so many questions. We talked about sex, we talked about God, we talked about YouTube, we talked about drama. Drew, did oh, you enjoy it? I had a great time. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy it? Stupendous. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified of me. <laughs> I know, guys. Go check it out. So I'm glad to come so shade of friends. Bye. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, welcome back to another conspiracy theory video. Now, today's video is kind of all over the place. We're going to be talking about some dumb things and some really scary things that might be threatening us right now. But first, let's start with something dumb, but honestly, it did kind of blow my mind when I heard about this one. This first conspiracy theory is about Starbucks. So as all of you guys know, Starbucks is one of the biggest coffee chains in the entire world. And the baristas are incredibly talented. I mean, the amount of insane drinks they have to make, all the personalized drinks, the unicorn frappuccinos, the complicated abbreviation system that they write on the side of the cup, they have to be incredibly smart to get all of that shit right and to get it done fast. So if they're smart enough to do all of that, then why can't they get your fucking name right. I can't tell you how many times there's been a Y in my name or Z. My name is Shane. And this is something that pretty much all of you guys go through. I mean, pretty much every single person that's ever ordered from Starbucks has had a crazy misspelling in their name. I mean, it's pretty much a meme at this point. So that's where the theory comes in. What if Starbucks is purposely misspelling your name so that you will take a picture of it and post it on social media for free publicity? I know, literally sounds crazy, but makes so much sense. I can't tell you how many mornings I've woke up and I've scrolled through my Instagram and so many people I'm following are posting pictures of their Starbucks cup in the wrong name or Snapchat saying, how do they put a V in my name? My guess is that hundreds of thousands of pictures are posted every single day from Starbucks customers that got their name fucked up. So that's hundreds of thousands of more people that are constantly showing pictures of the Starbucks logo. So if this theory is true, then that means that when you're getting trained as a barista, your boss is like, hey, misspell as many names as possible. Make it as weird as you can. James, put a V in there. Because the more pictures means the more free marketing. I don't know, that one to me, I 100% believe it. Okay, now this next conspiracy theory is about something that I can't get away from. This is a theory about fidget spinners. Fidget spinners have taken over the world. It seems like every single person I know is constantly posting pictures and videos and Snapchats of them spinning their little fidget spinners. So there's a few theories about these little toys. Some of them are pretty far-fetched, but one of them actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, first of all, I don't even have to say it. Illuminati confirmed. But besides that, the real theory is that fidget spinners are meant to distract us. Now the idea of the government or the Illuminati distracting us with certain things is not new. Remember a long time ago we talked about the theory that Britney Spears was actually being brainwashed by the Illuminati and her mental breakdown that she had where she shaved her head and stuff, that was to distract us from what was actually going on in the world. Now, at the time Britney Spears shaved her head, President Bush was going through a lot that he did not want us to focus on. So that theory is that the government used Britney as a way to distract us. Now, think about the world currently and how insane it is. All the craziness that's going on in the White House, all the craziness that's going on with the ISIS attacks. But what is everybody and their mom talking about instead of those things? Fucking fidget spinners. I mean, if you go on Twitter or Instagram or any other social media, yeah, you'll see a couple people talking about the serious issues, but for the most part, it's all fidget spinners. Now, I know you're thinking this is probably far-fetched, but let this sink in. Fidget spinners were invented 20 years ago. They have been around for 20 years, but all of a sudden, they're taken over. Is that because the people in charge were like, oh fuck, we need a distraction. Uh, oh, these, perfect. Now part two of this theory is a little more intense and that's the theory that China is using fidget spinners to take over the world. Now this is an article from the Chicago Tribune and it says, I don't know who planted these devices in our country, but it was clearly a malicious act intended to distract us from more important issues. They also go on to say, many fidget spinners are manufactured in China. I know this because my extremely focused son recently bought a pack of 10 spinners from a Chinese distributor. And this is where it starts to get a little crazier. At the rate things are going, the Chinese military could overrun the West Coast and our children would be too distracted with their fidget spinners to notice anything. 
Now clearly he's joking about this, but there's a hint of truth in every joke. The fact that most of these fidget spinners are coming from China, and the fact that we are all completely distracted by them, maybe that theory isn't that far-fetched at all. And maybe we should start looking up from our fidget spinners to see what's coming. Side note, once again, these are just theories. I love China. I'm not trying to piss them off. <laughs> but either way, I definitely think these fidget spinners are involved in something bigger than just helping us cure anxiety, because I'm guessing about 90% of the people that play with them don't actually have anxiety. Okay, now this next theory is something that is very scary, because it's something that's happening to us every day. That is the theory the government is poisoning our Municipal water, honestly, if it's got all, it's, they put other stuff in it to clean it and everything else, and then on top of that, they're medicating us with fluoride. It's a chemical soup. What's coming out of your tap water, if you live in a place where you get fluoridated water, is a chemical soup. That was a YouTuber named Melissa Melton, and she was explaining the process of water fluoridation. Now, some of you guys might not know this. I did not know this. There is fluoride in pretty much all of our water. Now this started happening back in 1945. Grand Rapids, Michigan became the first city to start putting chloride in their water. And by 2008, more than 70% of the United States had fluoride in their water. Now why is the government putting fluoride in our water? Well, they say it's because it will help prevent tooth decay. Really? The government's putting fluoride in our water because they care about our teeth? Well, the theory is that the government is putting fluoride in our water to do a lot more than just prevent tooth decay. They also want to medicate us, make us submissive, and make us easier to control. We are being poisoned. That's the bottom line. And if you want to think about other things having to do with fluoride that'll scare you, think about the fact that not, the last people to fluoridate water before us was Nazi concentration camps. Hitler was fluoridating the water in the concentration camps. Yeah, Hitler put fluoride in. And you know Hitler didn't give a fuck if all the people that he was keeping captive were getting tooth decay. He was trying to make them weaker and make them easier to control. And there is proof that that might be happening to us. The most distressing findings come from 18 studies done worldwide showing a substantial lowering of IQ in overly fluoridated areas. Yeah, places that have more fluoride in their water, the people have lower IQs, which means they're dumber, which means they're easier to manipulate. And it's not just about that, it's also about killing us off. In a study by the US Public Health Service that was also confirmed by Harvard Medical School, areas that had fluoride in the water had a higher percentage of a type of bone cancer. I mean, listen, it does kind of make sense. Cancer is spreading so fast and nobody really knows how to prevent it. Maybe that's because we are slowly giving it to ourselves with all the fucking water we're drinking. And if you don't think fluoride is dangerous, check this out. What's being added to municipal water supplies is a fluorine compound called hydrofluorosilicic acid. And it's a byproduct from the phosphate fertilizer industry. Yeah, fertilizer. <laughs> So not only is there studies that show that fluoride in the water is making us dumber and sicker, it's also killing animals. The Environmental Protection Authority says fluoride from Alcoa's aluminum smelter at Portland is making kangaroos sick. Listen, all I'm saying is that there's something fucking fishy going on. We've talked about chemtrails before, something that we still completely don't understand. And now this, they both seem very connected. I mean, just for example, in most countries in Europe, they don't have fluoride in the water. And guess what? Their level of tooth decay is about the same as ours. So think about that next time you go to your faucet and you get yourself a big glass of water. Okay, now this next thing we're gonna talk about scared the shit out of me. <laughs> now we've talked about creepy YouTube channels before. This one by far scared me the most. This is a channel of a man who sits on the floor, stares at the camera, and smiles for four hours. Yeah, he literally just sits there and smiles and stares at you for hours. And if you go through his channel, this is all it is. Video after video after video of him sitting in the same place, staring at the camera for hours. His name is Benjamin Bennett, and he started on July 28th, 2014. In that video, he live streamed for hours, not making any noises and barely even blinking. Now there's a lot of theories about this channel and why it exists. One of the theories is that Benjamin is being forced to make these videos by some crazy person who has kidnapped him. Now in this video, you can hear the clicking of a gun and then he starts to cry. Check it out.
I know. Fucking creepy as fuck. <laughs> and this isn't the only creepy moment in his videos. There's one specific moment that I saw where his eyes like did this weird shifting thing. Just check it out. Now, after I watched more and more of his videos, I started feeling like maybe this is some kind of social experiment or art project. I mean, a lot of people are thinking he's possessed or he's a demon or he's kidnapped, but I think he's just an artist. So I did some research and I found out that yes, he actually is a performance artist. And then I found a video of him talking, which was really weird to see after watching him just sit and not talk for hours. I'm not just gonna breathe into the microphone the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna do it for a little bit more. I know, weird, right? It's kind of like when we saw Poppy in that interview and she was like acting like a normal person. It's just like, well, wait, what? Well, then I found another video of him doing something that might be even fucking weirder than sitting and smiling. I don't understand that, but I fucking love that. <laughs> so I found an interview that he did with Vice and uh, he explained why he decided to start this channel. The interviewer asked, why? And he said, I don't know. It seemed like something that the internet was lacking. It seemed like it needed to be done and nobody else was gonna do it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that he's like, nobody's sitting and staring at the camera for four hours. All right, I'll do it. But there is something really crazy that happened to this guy. So as he was sitting, staring at the camera, somebody broke into his house, but he didn't wanna move because he didn't wanna fuck up his live stream. So he stayed there while the person opened the door and well, just watch. Hello? Yeah, that was real. Literally, he got broken into. This is a clip from his interview where he explains it. It was around Thanksgiving and I heard a knock on the door and I was the only one home. Then I heard some loud bangs and somebody lurking around downstairs while I was upstairs. He opened the door and said, hello? And I didn't move. And he closed the door and left the house. And then I just finished the session. I found out that he had kicked in my door. <sighs> that is commitment to art. <laughs> That is just terrifying. Okay, so this next one is, <laughs> it's really stupid, but it still kind of made me really creeped out. So I got an email from a viewer named Charles and he told me about this video. <laughs> Basically the video is Vladimir Putin walking down the street and he waves at a pigeon and then, well, I'll just let you watch it. If you missed it, check it out in slow motion. Yeah, the fucking pigeon saluted. <laughs> he waved at the pigeon and then the pigeon went. <laughs> now in the email I got from Charles, he basically said, what if the pigeons are secret spies? Or what if they're fucking robotic pigeons? And what if they have some type of technology inside of them and they literally are flying around spying on everybody? It sounds crazy, but look at the fucking video again. I mean, come on, the fucking pigeon saluted. That was not a normal pigeon thing to do. I don't know, that one's stupid, but it still fucking creeps me the fuck out. <laughs> okay, so the last thing we're gonna talk about, I'm really excited because this is something that we talked about a couple weeks ago. So there's an Instagram account called, I know exactly who you are. So basically you DM them and then they send you a DM back saying a bunch of things about your life that there's no way they could know. Now this account gets taken down a lot. I mean, just in the last month, I think Instagram has deleted it like four times, but it came back and I direct messaged him and I set up an interview. Okay guys, I am here with, I know exactly who you are. Hi. Yeah, what's up? Okay, so uh, this is a little scary because <laughs> I don't know what you know. I don't know if you're in my computer right now, if you're in my phone. Are you? I'm probably just inside of your mind a little bit. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so your Instagram account is pretty crazy. I talked about it uh, on my YouTube channel and a lot of people have been messaging me saying that you've known secrets about their past, about relationships they've been in, about uh, childhood memories, things that are impossible that you know. How do you find these things? Yeah, I basically just like look at your picture and it basically like to me, my brain just tells me like exactly who you are, what you have done in your life. Your life, what have you done wrong? What have you done right? And I just basically give you the information back. So like a psychic? Yeah, basically. Wait, so, okay, wait. See, I didn't know that because I knew, I thought maybe you were a hacker who was pretending that you weren't hacking because you didn't want to get in trouble. But you're saying you aren't hacking. You're literally a psychic. Correct. 
I mean, on Instagram, I just did it for fun at first, like just messing around with people. But then I started like really getting a deeper understanding of what it was, and I opened up the third eye. So I just really start like knowing stuff. I mean, listen, I'm a skeptical person. You know, I definitely believe in psychics and stuff. I would call your bullshit, but some of the stuff you tell people is pretty crazy. I mean, you you know things about them that they don't post on Instagram. Like I was looking at some of the direct messages, and a girl wrote you back and said, "How did you know that? I've never posted about this person. I've never told anybody about this crush." So. I don't know. I do kind. Of, I kind of buy it a little bit. It's a little weird. Now, have you ever gotten some kind of like a vision about somebody that was too dark and you didn't want to tell them, like maybe when they were gonna die or something bad was gonna happen? There was this girl. I think her name was Natalie, or like it was like started with an N. Her future was like horrible. Like her family, her father broke up, left her mother, and it's just like it was just so much. I couldn't even tell her. And I told her a little bit, and she started like breaking down, crying, and at the end, just like blowing it up crazy. And I just. I just couldn't do it. Wow. That's so interesting. I mean, it, you know, it kind of makes sense. I mean, you know, we talk about the psychic twins a lot on my channel and they're psychics and they give people readings and stuff. I guess this new generation of psychic is on Instagram. <laughs> it kind of makes sense. Well, that's another thing. So Instagram has been shutting down your account a lot because they suspect that you're hacking people because your shit is so like real. What do you tell Instagram? Do you say, hey, no, I'm not hacking anybody. Give me my account back. I mean, the first time I got deleted, they, um, they deleted me for harassment and stalking and all that but i actually emailed them and i emailed them like saying like i didn't do anything wrong and i actually looked up their terms and condition and this was like i didn't uh break any rules and basically they had to provide proof that some of the dms were mine and they had to go through all my account just a lot of stuff they had to go through interesting well you know your instagram's been shut down a lot but you keep coming back <laughs> and you have a lot of followers it's i mean a lot of people are interested in this even if you don't fully believe it you know it's still pretty interesting. So if you guys want him to uh, read your future, <laughs> go check him out. So if you guys follow me, can you guys be patient? Because I actually have a lot of requests and I can't really get to any everyone at the moment. How many people are hitting you up like daily? We get about literally about 10,000 DMs every day. What? Yes, literally. 10,000? Oh my God. Wow. Well, good luck. <laughs> well, guys, uh, if you send him a DM, it's going to take a while. <laughs> All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed those conspiracy theories today. If you want me to do more conspiracy theory videos and if you want me to do them more often, give me a thumbs up so I know. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit the notification bell because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see any of my other conspiracy videos, I've done a ton of them. I've done ones about Avril Lavigne, Taylor Swift being the devil, a whole lot. I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. And please, don't be so distracted. Keep looking for the truth. Bye.